Hello everyone, welcome back to the second question. I hope you found the first one useful. This is the second question. So this is about oral rehydration salt solutions. And it's an example of a calculation using provided formulae. So a quick question, molecular weight based as well. We'll give you three minutes, we'll come back and then we'll go through the word to answer. Your three minutes starts now, please. Please make sure you have something to write on, something to write with, and a GPHC calculator. We'll come back and we'll go through a word to answer. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Welcome back, everybody. So the answer for question two is 10.1 milliliters. Now, I know with these questions, it's sometimes difficult to understand what the formula means. So I have done a nice little drawing for you in this corner. So what this formula basically means is that you've got 2.6 grams of sodium chloride, you've got 0.15% of potassium chloride, and you've got 2.9 grams of sodium citrate, you've got 13.5 grams of anhydrous glucose. That's all in say one pot, so it's all highlighted coded. And then after that, the water is added to a thousand milliliters. So that's what that means. Now, from the question, we need to calculate potassium chloride. Therefore, we need to use potassium chloride only. So you must use this part here. You have to use this section. Otherwise, you'll get the wrong, uh, otherwise you'll get the question wrong. So we need to use that. So we need to use that and we need to use this and then we need to use a two millimoles. So 0.15%, I've done the method for you. Step one, 0.15% is 0.15 grams in 100 mils. That's 1.5 grams in 1,000 mils because we have the water to 1,000 mils. So we get 1,500 milligrams. Now the question has millimoles inside it. So the concentration is millimoles per mil. So that means we need to use the molecular weights of chlorine, of chloride, which is 35.5 and potassium, which is 39. So potassium chloride, the molecular weight is 74.5 grams per mole. That's equal to 74.5 milligrams per millimole. That is per millimole, we need two millimoles. So we need to times by two. That will give us 149 milligrams per mil. We need to then use that and calculate it into 1500. So by doing that, we'll get 1500 milligrams is equal to 10.1 mils. So that is our correct answer. Final check at the end, the answer is in milliliters. The answer is to one decimal place. Therefore, our answer is correct. That's question two, guys. That's an example of a calculation using a provided formulae. It's an example of using a molecular weight type question as well. So hope you found that useful. Plenty more to come. Thank you. See you soon.